In order to submit a Gaussian input file for calculation on Henry, you will first need to log in to Henry using a terminal application. Then you will need to navigate to a directory where you place your Gaussian input file. Once you are in the directory, you can type ls on the command line to check what files you have there. And in here I have two files. First one um, called formaldehyde underscore opt underscore henry.gjf is my Gaussian input file. And the second one called rg16.sh is the submit script. So let's have a look uh, together at what is inside the submit script. So type vi rg16.sh. So this will open up vi editor where I can inspect the contents of the file. There are four important lines here that you need to pay attention to and change for every submission. The first one is pound bsub-w1. This line determines the time that is going to be reserved by the queuing system for your calculation. Um, the time is in hours, so this one specifies reservation for one hour. If your calculation takes longer than one hour, then the queuing system will kill your submission after one hour. So you need to adjust the time based on how long you expect your calculation uh, to go on. For short, short calculations, you can use an hour or two hours. For longer calculations, you may have to specify 24 or 48 hours. Another important line is BSUB-N2 that specifies the number of processors that you are requesting from the queuing system. So in here, I am asking for two processors for this calculation. The number of processors you are requesting from queuing system has to be the same as the number of processors you have specified in Gaussian input file for the calculation. The next line um, <coughs> determines the um, name of your job and you can find it in queue under the name that you specify here. Finally, an important line here is the line that requests the submission to Gaussian, which is G16, the name of the input file. So you need to make sure for every new calculation that you change the name of the input file here. So now I can close Gaussian submit script and to submit the calculation on Henry, first type add g16 on the command line that will set up Gaussian environment and then type bsub rg16.sh. So now I get a message that my job is submitted to a default queue a short one and I can check the status of the job by typing bjobs on the command line. And you can see that now it's running. Um, so this is the job ID, this is my username, this is the status running, the type of the queue. Uh, this is telling me that it's being executed on two processors and here is the job name. Okay, so I can type bjobs again. So it's still running and if I type ls on the command line, you can see that uh, several new files appeared. Error file, output file, so these are jobs created um, by the system that collect any error or output from the queuing system. .log file and .checkpoint file are the results uh, of Gaussian calculations. I can check, for example, on my calculation by typing grep scf done log. So that will show me all of the lines with the calculated energies from my Gaussian optimization. 
And overall, what I want to see is that the energy goes down. Now I can type B jobs again. It tells me that no unfinished job found. So this uh, means that my Gaussian calculation has completed. I can again use the VI editor to check on my log file. If you type Shift G, that will bring that will bring you to the end of the file. And what I'd like to see at the end of the file is the message that I have normal termination of Gaussian 16, and then it gives you the date. So this means that my calculation finished normally, and now I can open it with Gauss view um, to check on the results.